Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be sewing our swimsuit pattern, Tanya. You can choose between two fronts, alter and the V-shaped version. So choose your favorite, print your pattern and let's start sewing. So here we have our pieces. This is the option for the alter, the pattern for the alter. I'm not going to do this one today, I'm going to do this uh, on another day. So today I will be sewing the V neckline, this is uh, for the back and this is also for the bottom back. So let's start cutting our fabrics. I'm going to use this beautiful purple, despite this fabric is a little bit slippery, uh, I love the color. Uh, it is recycled, it's a fabric from Carvico Fabrics, it's Italian and I really love it and despite it's a bit um, slippery I'm gonna use it. So parallel to your salvage, salvage uh, you can fold your fabric and uh, use the fold line that will be mentioned on the pattern, this is just my past pattern and uh, place your, your front and start cutting. Do this for the outer fabric and for the lining. We now, now have our two front pieces, the two top back uh, on the lining and on the uh, outer fabric and also uh, with the center back seam we have two pieces for the lining and two pieces for our outer piece. So now we just need to uh, combine the center back seams together on both uh, the main fabric and the lining and we will pin uh, on the center back seam. So we will be able to uh, prepare uh, the back. For the front, we will fold the fabric and we will also pin the dart and go to our straight stitch machine and sew our dart. So getting to the edge of my darts, what I do so that this, is, uh, this has a nicer finish, I will come straight, this is a slight curve, so I do the curve and when I reach the near, very near the edge of my fabric, the folded fabric, I uh, stitch 3-4 more stitches and then instead of cutting the thread and going back and forth, no, I do not go back on my stitch, I just uh, put my needle up and leave a thread so that then we can tie a knot. So let's do it. So we have sewn our darts and uh, of course on the purple you cannot see it very well. As you can see this one it's not perfect but this one is a bit better. So now what do we do? This is our main fabric and in this case this is not a reversible so even if this is not perfect uh, it's not a problem in this case. Uh, what I will do is I will tie two knots here and I can cut the line, the thread, it's good and, and I do exactly the same on all darts and then we can cut the threads and our darts are ready. Uh, uh, next we will place um, our back uh, with our back, the uh, outer fabrics, because this is an unreversible, so we will sew the entire pieces together, the, the lining to the lining, front with back, and the main fabric with the main fabric for the back also. So let's do it. So let's grab our front. And as you can see, this will not be bulky once it's on your body. The, the finish, the end is very nice. Now let's grab our back and we will align 
we have a center back seam, so right sides facing together, we will align uh, the crotch area, which we will pin, and we will align the sides, which we will also pin. We should do this uh, for the lining and also for the outer fabric, so I'm doing for the outer fabric now. And we will go over to our overlock and sew this. On, on the sides and on the crotch, you do not apply elastic. So for now, it is just very simple overlock and straight ahead. Uh, let's prepare the, the sides, the crotch for the outer and for the lining. Now, if you want, you can also already attach the top back uh, to, your, to your top uh, straps. But this is too much pins for me, so I'm going to do this first and then I will combine this with these two parts. So just go to the overlock and overlock all of these pinned areas. Now we have the front attached with the back bottom part. Now we need to attach uh, the top straps. So we have to repeat the process for the outer fabric and of course for the lining. Uh, place your straps like they were they will be on the final result, so like this, and then just right sides facing together and pin easy. We do this for both of them. I'm just gonna clip it very fast so it's here so I can work easily. I'm gonna pin it here, here, I'm gonna do the same for the lining and then overlock again. When you align the, the, the strap, when you start pinning, start pinning on the, on the insides, so on the center of your body, okay? So start from here to, to, to outsides and the same here because you will have a sticking edge here which we don't, uh, we will uh, later cut, so no, no problem, but start pinning from the center to the outside on both of them. We now have our uh, two pieces ready. We haven't used elastic yet, as you know, uh, as I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, we are just missing a small bit of this, which is the top part of our strap. So if we wanted to if we want to have them like this, we need to sew them right sides facing together. So I'm gonna just fast clip just to keep this in place. So if this is to be like this, right? Back and front, my right sides facing together, so like this. So now I'm going to pin, I'm going to do the same for my lining and again sew. So now we have uh, both our pieces uh, ready. And we want the white, it's, it's the lining, it's in contact with our body and we don't want the seams to be in contact with our body. So. Uh, the, this side is actually the side that is going to be um, facing our uh, body. So we have to insert the lining inside the uh, outer fabric. So we reverse our lining with our seams facing outwards and with our, outer, uh, with our lining like this and our main fabric perfectly like in the finished position we will insert the lining inside our main fabric. Align all the parts, I'm just going to put a clip just to place it more or less in place to help me. So this one inside the, the main fabric. So you will have your seams facing each other 
which means that uh, on your body it will have a perfect finish and also of course on the outside so now we need it now this is the part that we have to pin everything so this is already assembled now we just need to pin uh, all around the leg holes the back the arms the neckline everything we just need to pin all around but since i'm gonna apply the elastic uh, on my lining because afterwards we will fold the fabric so we will apply the elastic on the lining piece what i will do i will i will reverse my swimsuit as it is like this okay and now i'm gonna pin on this side because when I go to the, to the sewing machine and place my elastic, I want to place my elastic on top of my fabric that is facing up. So I want my whites to be facing up. So now let's pin the entire swimsuit. So instead of doing the entire swimsuit in one time, I'm going to do one, one um, under the arm um, hole and one leg hole and then I'll do the reverse and then I do the front and then I do the back, so by parts because I don't want so many pins flying around. Regarding the, the, the darts, I opened the darts, uh, the seams from the dart because as you know we sew the dart using the straight stitch machine so we have our uh, fabric hanging around so I opened them I flattened them and I pinned and the seams I put them facing the same side okay so now let's uh, start uh, by parts let's start sewing uh, what we have pinned so far So this is a long process, I'm not going to get everything on camera because I don't think you, you gain anything in watching me fast forward sewing. So important things you should know. I give some tension on my elastic because uh, I know this fabric really needs a bit of tension. And you can, uh, this is like, uh, I can do a tutorial specifically about the tension of the elastic. But this is something that you gain by experience and then you feel like the tension that you should give to the elastic. I just pull a little bit the elastic and of course not the, um, not the fabric. So you can see a little bit here that I've been pulling the elastic and you can see where I've done that. But it's not a lot so it's just a little bit of tension. And I did this here and I also did uh, this here as you can see. As you can see here okay so this is fine uh, once it's uh, on you it will sit perfectly so uh, two things that are very important that I should tell you this v-shape here in the back and the v-shape in the front and how uh, are we going to do that I uh, always do this on all the patterns uh, uh, I designed that have a v-shape that has a v-shape in front or on, on the back so the process is always the same. I use a mix of my, of my overlock with my straight stitch. Of course, straight stitch, but with elastic, with elastic uh, stitch. But I always uh, end up uh, doing the, um, the, the vertice of, my, uh, of, the, of this sharp triangle, the, this edge here. I always uh, do this on my um, regular sewing machine. So uh, you will go to the overlock and then without cutting the elastic, you stop. I mean, it's on the white sides. So you stop, you go out of the, of the overlock, you go to your straight stitch machine, you do the, the, the corner here, uh, for, uh, turning the fabric and everything, and then you continue with the overlock. Uh, this is because we will also um, trim just a little bit uh, on this area to make it a little bit sharper. If this was a reversible, we could uh, make it completely sharp. But since this is a non-reversible, it will be like with an angle, but it will not be completely sharp. 
Uh, so when I get to these parts, I will tape it for you, but the rest, uh, I'm, I'm just going to skip it, okay? So now that I'm near uh, the sharp uh, center back of my back, I'm going to uh, move away from uh, here, from my overlock, and I'm going to my straight stitch machine to do, as I told you, the, the lower part of the back. Now I'm already on my uh, regular machine. Uh, I'm gonna start securing the, oh, uh, the overlock threads and then come until the middle with the center back seam here so it's very easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my elastic vertically to the... Um, so parallel on the same line all, as the center seam. I'm gonna cut my elastic and I'm gonna sew it until the elastic. Then I'm gonna place the elastic again turn the fabric and do a little bit again on this machine placing another an, again the elastic and stitching until we stop and we go back to the overlock So now we will turn the fabric, we place again the elastic and we continue sewing uh, with our elastic stitch. Now we are ready to continue uh, our sewing on the overlock. Then you can come back here and you can reinforce this area again with the, the stitch so you make sure that this is really safe. But uh, this was my first uh, go but then I always come back and do it again. So he, we have just made our back uh, and I already went twice to the, uh, to the regular machine as I told you. And so this is it, we have here our uh, edge of our V-shaped back. And as I told you, uh, I'm not going to trim this because uh, we will then fold uh, this to make uh, the zigzag. And if I trim this a lot, it will not be good. So uh, this will never be sharp, as I told you, but it will stu still look very, very nice. Okay, so now I'm just missing my neckline, so I'm gonna pin all around so again using the same method that we you that we will you oh that we used for the back and then we'll be back to uh tell you how i'm gonna do my finish on my swimsuit now our swimsuit uh is all, all uh sewed together the two pieces but now we need to fold it and uh give uh, our final stitch uh to make it uh finished but here on the back, this is something that I'm still wondering what's the best option because for me, I like this to be very clean. I don't want to have a huge bow here, but maybe some of you won't and probably it would be also very beautiful with a bow here. 
on a different color maybe even uh, so I don't really know how you want to finish this I have to think I'm gonna think I'm gonna have lunch make a break think <laughs> and I'll be back and I will say how we will finish this and how do I do these final stitches to make our swimsuit um, beautiful so I think here we have two options uh, more but well at least two that I like one of them I think it's my favorite it's to put a clasp so you can on the end of the swimsuit being ready you can adjust here a little bit more to the right or to the left and you will be able to have your clasp with a perfect fit for you the other option uh, was to sew these two together what also would would be very beautiful but it's less versatile because it's not adjustable but for me personally if this swimsuit is for me probably I would uh, cut some threads here right sides facing together on my main fabric and right sides facing together on my uh, self fabric I would sew, sew them together and then they will they would be um, uh, together here instead of uh, separate and it would also be, look very nice if this uh, uh, is not uh, neither one of the options that you like you can also improvise a strap so you can do a strap I would do the strap reversible um, I would do the strap reversible and then uh, I, I must think how how we would put the strap here yeah I know how let me tell you I'm gonna do a, um, a small strap and I'm gonna show you if it was with a strap how should we do it so imagine we wanted to make a, a strap to place here I uh, this after this is folded and finished uh, this will be three centimeters uh, wide so you will need to put your strap your reversible strap bow uh, inserted here and this is three so I cut it seven I'm gonna fold it in half my my uh, my stitch is half a centimeter so I'm gonna lose half on each side this means I cut it seven I'm gonna lose one half plus half so I'm gonna have six right so after it's reversed I'm gonna have the three that I need to place here so here is my improvised strap I'm going to reverse the strap to the right side and now with your seam to the inside what I would do if this was finished of course let me put a pin to show you how it would look so if it was finished it would be like this and like this, fold it right. Oh, this is too big, too big. Okay. So now I would insert my strap here. Sorry. I do not reverse my strap my strap must face right sides facing together so of course it's on this side so my right side will face my right side and then I will insert this here So like this, sorry, the drain. Okay, imagine that this was my strap. This is this is my swimsuit. This is my strap. I left both sides open, so I, I was able to do this. Now I align the, um, the seam to the top, for instance, or to the back if you want to. 
you align the fabric, the, the, the strap with your swimsuit, you would pin, sew along, trim, and after this is secure, you just need to pull. Imagine I'm gonna give it a, a, a hand stitch and then I will remove it because I don't want this strap. But just to show you, I'm gonna do it by hand. Imagine I secured the strap here. And now I just need it to pull like this. So many pins. And it would be... Sorry, the pins are not helping me. Well, you can see the stitch there. So it would be secure and uh, no seams would be visible here. And then you just need to fold this inside. Fold, go to your straight stitch machine and do a stitch on your vertical um, to give this a finish. And it, you would have straps on the top. But okay, this is not my option. So this is not how I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do with the um, clasp. And now I have to undo all of, the, all of this, but you don't need to see it. So uh, we've decided that uh, we are going to use the clasp. So I'm not going to worry about this now. I'm just going to my straight stitch machine and with a zigzag stitch, with the color that you prefer for your thread, uh, we are going to fold over. This is like a natural fold because of your elastic. So it will fold naturally. It's very easy. You will just fold your fabric uh, on your machine and uh, with all the curves and everything and you will go and do a zigzag stitch all around the uh, seams. Uh, this can take a while, no problem. We will do it very calmly. I will do it a little bit fast forward and then a little bit slower so that you can uh, see in detail how I do it if you want to. And then I will show you the final result and how uh, uh, it looks on the inside, on the outside. I will tell you how I put the clasp. So keep with me until the end. We are almost there. So I'm reaching the area of my uh, center back shape. So I'm going to do it slowly. <coughs> So you can see, my uh, this is a curve, so as you can see, I start sewing and I follow the curve uh, slowly uh, until I, I, I reach the, the center back. You can actually feel the elastic and the fold, so it's very easy for you to do it um, just evenly. So this is the center back here, so fold normally. I will need to put my hand real near the, the machine because uh, my machine doesn't like uh, when this is very thick and this area will be th uh, thick. So. I'm sorry if you cannot see everything, but I really need to make sure I stick my hand on the right place here. Let's see how it turned. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna show you in detail in a bit. So now I'm going to fast forward again to do the rest. So here you can, you can see our center back. It's not bad. I think it's very nice. So now I'm just going to do the rest 
maybe I'm not gonna tape it because it would be too long the video but I think for now that you already know how to do this yeah you got it so we have done all the zigzag stitch uh, all around our swimsuit I'm going to cut all the small uh, threads that are lost around uh, and I'm gonna apply the clasp here and then I'll take some pictures and show as I always do on our videos so if you have questions or comments please don't forget to leave them uh, on the comments or send us an email to shop at bikinidesignclub.com uh, if you have suggestions or whatever don't forget to also tell us uh, and if you want, of course, subscribe our YouTube channel to keep tuned uh, and watching our tutorials. So, hope you liked uh, our swimsuit pattern, Tania. And uh, you will do one for yourself. So, for the clasp. I am going to grab this one. Put it here. Fold. I am going to put a pin to take the measurement to see if it's good on me or not and then if I need I adjust it a bit more or a bit less and then to secure is very simple you just go to your straight stitch machine and um, to your regular machine and do a, a stitch to secure your your clasp on the right place uh, make sure it's in it's centered because this is supposed to be centered on your on your back and that's it. Hope you liked it. Bye.